everyone, I'm just coming at you real quick with a fun, easy video on plant and succulent gift giving. Um, I love giving plants as gifts, and so I'm always looking for little unique containers that I can use to, to give a succulent or propagate something and give it as a gift. And I found these cute little, I don't know, colander type ceramic bowls at Target, of course, at the Target one spot. Um, and I bought a whole bunch and I'm like, perfect for what's coming up is Mother's Day. And all winter long, I have been propagating succulents. This one's pretty big. This actually could be in there by itself. But I've been propagating succulents. Here's a grapto. Um, and now I have a bunch and I don't quite know what to do with them all. And so it makes perfect sense that I put them in a sweet little arrangement. Um, here's a little set of area propagational set of area lilac mist for something different. Um, put them in a little arrangement and give them to my mom as a gift. So, um, here we go. Obviously this needs to be lined. So I'm just gonna line it with some burlap that I also had laying around, imagine that. Let's go with some pumice at the bottom for good drainage, right? And also some weight that maybe kind of hold things down. Cactus mix, of course. Problem. No worries. Now the burlap, I'll probably end up trimming again once I'm done. So I'll kind of leave it like that for now. Okay. So now it's all about just filling it, right? The one succulent I did buy for this arrangement is this jade because I feel like it breaks up the rosettes and kind of adds some add something a little different. So I am going to start with my thriller, so to speak, this jade golem that I love. And I'm just gonna pull off some of this dirt to make room. I'm just gonna set it in.
bit. That's looking cute, kind of bare still. And then these, this little calico kitten crassula, I um, cut from my own calico and then I pulled the bottom leaves off because I'll probably just propagate those, why not? And this will also trail, let's see. Got him in there. This one's just kind of sitting in there, but it's in there far enough. I think it should be just fine. We'll clean off some of the dirt. Now, one thing you can do is um, add a couple of little stones, which I'm thinking that I might do um, in the back here. Just kind of dress it up a little bit find interesting rocks on the side of the road. Pick them up, right? See, I just want to try and even out some of the burlap here. familiar with cactus mix you know that if I watered this the cactus mix is just gonna blow everywhere so I'm just gonna spray it spray it down really well and then um, I will hit it with a good drenching because all my succulents in here were pretty dry and then that way the receiver of this gift will not have to worry about watering now the one thing I will tell you about giving gifts, plants as gifts, you should expect that when you show up at your friend's house or whatever, that it could all be dead. You can't put expectations on the receiver that they're going to just take immaculate care of it. So don't take it too seriously. Expect that it's not going to live forever and just have fun and give joy via the gift of plants and succulents. Thanks for stopping by Suburban Sill. For more information on plant arrangements, succulent care, and houseplant tips, visit SuburbanSill.com. Follow along on Instagram at Suburban Sill. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more updates and fun projects to come. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.